Uh oh. Take five. Got a camera hanging from my necklace. What a camera hanging from my necklace. Woo woo. Hanging from my necklace. Uh oh. Hanging from my necklace. How you doing, you guys? It is your host, Digital Don here. And basically, guys, we're going to be talking about the AVRs cluster. So let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, what is AVRs? It is audio and video technology and communication. So pretty much the form in which you are seeing me in this falls under that category. So um, if you like to perform in front of an audience, um, if you are a visual person, or you just like visual tech and audio tech in general, ladies and gentlemen, and these days, both. This is the place. All right, so basically, um, if you are a creative human being, like me, and you like to create things um, out of thin air, rather it's, uh, well, it's not even rather anymore, but uh, di digitally. It used to be, um, we would be in a Disney-esque uh, uh, place. We would draw panel to panel if you were trying to go that route. But things have changed. Um, everything is done now on a computer. And it just so happened, oh, my specialty is in Adobe products, especially in After Effects uh, with VFX effects and green screen animations as well as um, in the audio range. So um, yeah, baby, you have come to the right place. So let's get into it, man. Um, you know, as I said, um, if you are an artist with talent, and I use that <laughs> very vaguely and loosely, this is your domain. You are just a outgoing creative and you cannot seem to grasp the concept of a structured, business s or robotic sense of doing things there's nothing wrong with that this is kind of the feel for you now mind you there's going to be a lot of structure involved with this um with this there's not so much a lot of restraints thing is is you have to be very 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 good at what you do this um this cluster is very competitive y'all um if you're not one of the best um, your odds of making it when you want to make it is... Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Almost. Wait. 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 <sighs> that much. And I don't want to be a buzzkill, but it's true. Um, a lot of people go for a field like this, but they don't really have a game plan. So even though that there's a lot of free thinking here, um, where you lack in structure, you have to lack in discipline. And I know structure and discipline really go hand in hand. Discipline as in, if you're trying to take the artist route, then you need a game plan that's going to pretty much set you out or pretty much makes you bigger than the competition because that's what this is about. So, of course, this field includes, of course, painting, dancers, sculptures, actors, singers, oh yeah! Alright, this includes set designers, editors, broadcast technicians, and camera operators. Whamma jamma. Now, I have personal experience, uh, especially being a videographer in my hometown of Dallas, Texas. Before I was an educator, I was all over in these streets. Alright, rather it was from East Dallas, woo, all the way to the suburbs of Holland Park. I've worked with pretty much everybody when it comes to this thing. And maybe in a separate video having to do with how I even got into this, I'll talk about that. But um, but once again, you can make very good money um, if you have a lot of discipline and if you're able to get out there and promote yourself and be marketable. Uh, in this field, you got to talk to everybody. The way technology is going, it used to be maybe two or three people would have a DSLR camera, which I was in that era, and I was very fortunate enough to do work within that era. But times have changed. Cell phones are now shooting in 4K resolution. Yes, 4K resolution. Um, it's getting to the point to where now um, people like me used to create actual effects from the ground up, and now it's actually getting so good. You can't tell the difference between something that was created by an actual person or just something 
touch generally. So this field is always, as well, constantly changing. Please be aware of that, all right? Um, we are going to, of course, get into a lot of the high profile jobs. Um, we're gonna be covering pretty much where to find it. Um, realistically, the payout, as soon as we get the virtual videos, of course, you guys know by now, um, our virtual notes, we will cover everything you need to know as far as schools need to go to and things of that nature. So guys, um, for me personally, this is a very exciting field. Um, I love it. Um, there's a lot of pros. There's a lot of cons too, but I, me personally, I think the pros outweigh the cons any day, especially when you really love what you're trying to do. So this is Digital Don here, and let's get into our virtual videos for the day. All right, all right. We are in the video portion um, of this little video deck. So first, let's take an old school point of view, and let's take a briefing from somebody else other than me uh, which they would explain what ABR is all about. Hit it! There's an old saying in the theater. Everyone has two fields of expertise, their business and show business. Most of us love to be entertained, and with television shows and magazines that focus on the entertainment business, people know a lot more now about what goes on behind the scenes than they did in the old days. Even so, the headlines make it seem as though it's possible for anyone with talent to make a lot of money in this industry. Gene Dillard reports. That's not necessarily true. Thousands of people make a good living working in the arts and communications, yet only the fortunate few pull down superstar salaries. Even at less exciting levels, working in this field can be very rewarding because you get a chance to combine creativity with talent and technical skills. From camera operators and equipment mechanics to musicians, actors, directors, and producers, those who work in arts and communications serve clients. The client might be the audience for a movie, an advertiser in search of the perfect product illustration, a homeowner wanting a new look for a living room, anyone needing creative services. Even the most creative enterprise must operate on a budget and satisfy the end user. So to work well in this field, you need to understand what's wanted for a particular task. If you specialize in merchandise display, you need to know just what kind of customer the retailer wants to attract. This is a look from the runway. If you're a radio announcer, you need to know the age and taste of the audience your station is trying to reach. It will be approved for attorney general, but today his toughest opposition is set to testify. In every case, to make a living in arts and communications, your creativity and skill has to find an audience. If you work for an employer, you'll probably be given direction about how to make that connection. If you work for yourself, freelancing as an actor, artist, designer, writer, or musician, you might have an agent representing present you to potential customers. Even those with technical skills, such as broadcast technicians, might seek representation for regular employment. Or they might work for a media enterprise, such as a broadcasting or cable network. Have you been following this story for a while? This field also encompasses journalism, which serves the higher goal of truth. Reporters and correspondents do try to reach an audience, and they hope to earn paychecks, but they usually try not to let the audience and employer affect their objectivity. They strive to tell it like it is, providing information that is not influenced by people in power, such as the advertisers that support their publication or program, or the government. Indeed, a free press, unrestrained by censorship, is one of the fundamental tenets of our democracy. Where a manhole cover has exploded. Whether on location with a big production or doing small individual projects, people in arts and communications are never alone. Their work connects them to the world. And let's take a new school perspective and let me introduce to you The Career Cluster Arts, AV Technology, and Communications focuses on creating and designing different types of media. This media includes visual and performing arts, journalism, and entertainment services. An example of a job in this cluster is a film or video editor. 
A film or video editor edits moving images on film, video, or other media. If you are interested in using a computer to create graphic designs, take photographs, creating video or creating videos, then you might want to explore this cluster more. Lights, camera, action! <laughs> All right, kids. <laughs> I got a bell for life. This is a very special cluster uh, for me. Uh, these are personal videos I've done. Uh, rather, it's for other people or just for myself. This is, um, um, these are all the many things and all the many cool techniques you can do within this cluster. So I hope you guys enjoy this little quick collage. I mean, I don't have all day to showcase this stuff, but this is basically some of the things that I've done to pretty much experiment on myself as well as other You majored in psychology. Who can I talk to?
this is how we do it. I'll look. I'll look. Already. Right. Hey, yeah. hey, man, I like this camera. Zooming in. Headphone. But you know what? And then I get this way hard we're here. Set us up the veil like horrible teachers. What I do is for my mm, yeah, I probably gonna hit me with that magnet. Okay, he does good out here. He had a show uh, last no, weekend, actually. Zero. Get your tickets in advance right now at OutHouseTickets.com. What? A lot of people can't come up here and do what they. Okay. Um. When did you write them? You're only 17. Pathways, which consist of audio, video, technology, and film, printing technology, visual arts, performing arts, and journalism and broadcasting. Okay. Take a minute to jot that down, folks. All right. So what you need out of college? Basically, folks, you need, for sure, <laughs> well, not for sure, at least one of these. All right, bachelor's of fine arts, which can take four to five years. Um, associate's degree, which is two to three, but try to find a trade, which is why I put trade certification. If you have certain certifications with that associate's degree, you can do a lot of great things, I promise, especially when it comes to Adobe. Things like that. Accredited schools. We have George Mason University. Bowling Green State University, Lingerie uh, Country Community College, Bates Technical College, Full Sail University, Southern New Hampshire University, Grand Canyon University, and Penn Foster University. All right. The job market. Um, there's about 59 careers, 36 majors, and nine main industries. Now, I will say these particular industries are probably the hardest to get into because mainly it's freelance. And um, I will say that your resume really makes the difference within these careers. Yes, you can find some type of work, but um, just be aware that this is a hyper competitive field. <laughs> Everybody and their mom wants to do something within it. Which brings me to the pay. Now here, this is high risk, high reward. Um, based off of all of the careers, um, the mean is 54 um, 
thousand dollars now mind you this is still a good lump sum yes you can have a pretty stable life with it but you can start even lower than that just because there's so many people and there's so much demand but at the same time you can definitely work this up to the high 90 all the way to six figures uh, if you plug in So please don't be discouraged. Uh, this is a great field to be into. This is where I got my start. And let's proceed on to our final sequence. Yeah. All right. We are at the end of our video here. This is Digital Don talking to you guys once more. I mean, hey, pick another cluster, man. I mean, it's that easy. All you gotta do is move that cursor over and you can learn something else out of the other 10 clusters that has been presented. If you guys have any uh, questions, please let me know on any of my social medias. It's digitaldon underscore CTE. And let's have a conversation. I am an actual professor, so I might can uh, give you guys some good advice and good tips and we'll go from there. And <laughs> the great thing about this is if you like this cluster, have no fear. There's going to be a playlist of jobs that you guys can pretty much sift through and see if it works out for you. I will give you stats and all the things that you need to know to get inside that cluster. Because at the, because look, at the end of the day, I want you to be successful. I want you to bring, bring something different to this country. Because boy, do we need. When I mean different, I mean a skill set that can take this thing to a whole other level. This is Don here, and I'm signing out. Thank you, guys.